Good morning and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another chatty get ready with me, the final one for the year. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of reflect back on 2021 and what the year has been about for me. Um, but let's go ahead and start with the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Um, <clears throat> so 2021 has really been a year of rebuilding for me and my family. Uh, 2021 was a year of a lot of heartbreak and a lot of hurt and sadness and uncertainty and just a lot of things that happened. For eyes, I'm going to go into the ColourPop Feeling Bubbly Champagne Pop Collection. Um, and I'm going to start off with this shade here, I think followed by this shade and this shade. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and put a gold and probably this one on my lid. But <clears throat> anyway, 2020 was a definitely a year of a lot of heartbreak and a lot of hurt and just a lot of uncertainties and also a lot of miracles that have taken place. So 2021 has been a year of rebuilding the life that was broken. I mean, we had pretty much lost everything in 2020 just due to our circumstances and so as a result in all the miracles that had taken place 2021 has really just been about rebuilding our lives and rebuilding what was lost and not only that but taking it further than we ever thought it would go um so it's just it, it's been a really really big year for us and it's we went farther than we really thought that you know back in 2020 if you would have told me this is where we'd be now I would have been like are you crazy this is this is not realistic for our lives at the moment this is not what I see for us and lo and behold you know through God's grace and God's grace alone and his guiding hand we are here and we got here and so, you know, the road has not been easy. We've definitely had to do a lot of work and put in a lot of effort. But, I mean, nothing in life is worth having without doing that. Unless you're able to put that trust in God and put that trust in each other and just trust the process. It's not going to be worth doing because we can say now that we are stronger than we've ever been. And because we've seen what it means to lose everything, almost. Um, so anyway, let's just go ahead and start kind of at the beginning of the year and work down to, to well, now, at the end of the year. Um, the year started, my husband, he had suffered a brain injury back in 2020 and was told he wasn't going to live and was told that if he was going to live, he wasn't going to amount to much at all, if anything. <clears throat> well, February came and he got to go back to work and he got to immediately surpass everything. He had to finish off the rest of his rehabilitation, but once they cleared him to go back to work, he went back to work and he, you know, I... We were kind of expecting him to, you know, have maybe a few, a little bit of a hard time in the beginning, but he stepped into work and he jumped right into it um, with really not a lot of, you know, help or instruction or, you know, he didn't, he didn't need a lot of guidance. He just kind of did it. And now, I mean, if you didn't know him, you wouldn't know he had a brain injury. He is able to be a protector and a provider and a spiritual leader in our house and I'm able to fully trust him to be able to do that without having to worry about the after effects of the injury and that is just it's huge um, and just to be able to have that back when we didn't think we would have that um, so you're going so 20 so February I'm gonna go into the color pop um, keep it crisp jelly mulch eyeshadow from the champagne pop collection um, but just for us to start off the year on such a high note really it I couldn't have asked for more I couldn't have asked just to be able to have 
what we lost restored and restored better than we had it. Uh, and then Feb March showed up and we found out we were pregnant. And we, after his injury, we decided that, you know what, we did want one more child after our second pregnancy. We were both kind of, we were kind of at odds. You know, one of us wanted another baby, one of us didn't. Uh, so we had decided after his injury that, yes, we want one more child, but we were going to wait a little while and just give it a couple of years. Well, God had other plans. Um, I had found out in March that we were pregnant uh, unexpectedly, um, un unplanned, but not unloved. Very much, very, very loved. Uh, and we just kind of came to the conclusion that, you know what, maybe this is God's going to allow us to have another child now. Maybe two and three years, two to three years from now is not the right time. And maybe it is now, as crazy as it felt at the time, and as overwhelming at the time as it felt. Although we were excited, there was no doubt we were both excited. As unplanned as it was, we were both extremely excited. Um, we just decided that, you know what, this... This is the plan. I'm going to go in with my Merit Beauty Foundation Concealer Stick. And so we just, we enjoyed it and we were excited and, you know, the pregnancy itself, it was, <clears throat> it was a little bit of a scary pregnancy. I'm also going to mix that with the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. But we were just so excited at the time despite the crazy circumstances, and we're like, you know what, you want to, you want to get God to laugh, tell him your plans, well, we thought our plans were different, but nonetheless, so excited, I wasn't surprised when I found out I was pregnant, we were just not planning on having another baby, but my symptoms were definitely there in, in a big way, and the pregnancy itself, it was harder than my previous pregnancies, uh, I won't get into the details, because that's all of my pregnancy updates, and I'll leave that playlist down below, so we found out in March, by, was it, April, and end of April, uh, we, I had my, I had a placenta tear, I thought we had lost the baby, and that hurt me, that scared me so much, we thought we had lost him, and we just, we were upset, it turns out everything was fine, um, I just, it took, a, it took about a month to figure out what was going on. Uh, finally, I had an ultrasound, and they just said I had a minor tear. It wasn't anything to be worried about. You know, I was showing no signs of uh, of losing him, aside from the cramping and the bleeding. But, again, here's where I feel like God was really at work. I felt him move when I was eight weeks long. And I feel like in my pregnancy, there was just a lot of that spiritual warfare going on, because it was like... The feeling of losing him, or thought I could lose, him, thought I was losing him, but then every time we thought that he would move, and you know, it's I know it's not normal to feel a baby eight weeks gestation moving, so I just can only chalk that up to you know what that's God saying, he's fine. Don't let the enemy give you doubt. Don't let him give you fear. Just trust me, he's okay. And. That was a huge blessing, a huge miracle, and he's been thriving. And then I feel like a couple or about a month after I initially had that tear, I'm going to go in with my Jouer concealer. About a month after I had that tear, I had gotten in a car accident. I felt like there was the enemy, another way for the enemy to say, you're losing the baby, you think you're going to have this beautiful baby, you're not. And that accident should have taken me out. The car was bad. I had rear-ended somebody. And the car was bad. I walked out of it with a sprained ankle and some bruised ribs. The baby was fine. My seatbelt was below my belly. I was about 14 weeks gestation when that happened. And again, God just said, nope, you're not going to do this. You know, it's like I felt like the angels were protecting me in that moment. And because I should have, I should have gone out after that accident. And I didn't. And we were fine. And I was fine. More importantly, my baby was fine. Uh, so that was scary, of course, you know, that summer we did not have a car. 
which was not exactly fun. You know, we were borrowing cars, we were renting cars, we were, like, playing car roulette with whoever we could get a car from when we had to go somewhere. Uh, so that was not so fun. The summer was kind of rocky because of that, but at the end, I'm not mad. Um, we got to see God at work once again in our lives, and just His protection and provision, and I couldn't ask for more. Um, so that in itself was a miracle. By July, we had found out that we were having a little boy. You know, our joke was, my husband's just cursed to have girls, so... We are like, okay, you know, just, if it's a girl, great, but we, you know, we are like, we really would like our son, we really would like a boy. Uh, the whole pregnancy, though, I kind of felt like we were having a boy just because of how different it was, just the cravings, everything else. Like, the pregnancy was not like it was with the girls at all. So we, when we found out we were having a son, that was, the look on my husband's face, I and mean, we would have been super happy if he was a girl. I'm going to go in with my bite mascara. <clears throat> uh, when... We would have been happy with a girl, but when we found out we were having a son, I mean, I was excited, but even more so the look on my husband's face when we found out, and I, that's all in that Pregnancy Updates playlist, I can link the video down below of the gender reveal, but the look on my husband's face was priceless. I mean, just the joy in his eyes, it, it made, we are so excited, and again, I feel like God knew what we needed. He knew that we needed to have girls first. And he knew, then he knew that we needed a boy. And I, growing up, I always wanted two girls and a boy. Uh, when I got to this phase of my life. And God blessed me with just that. So we found out we were having a boy. And then about in August, we had purchased our house. Purchased our house. We are so excited. But then we still had renovating to do. Uh, we were starting to cut it close because I was nearing, you know, my third trimester. I was getting towards the end of my pregnancy. So we were just kind of like, okay, we do need to get in here at some point. So we spent a couple of months renovating, uh, which was fine. It was exciting. You know, got, we definitely got to a point where we were ready to move in. But it did take a couple of months to do the proper renovations. But I had fun picking out the stuff, planning where we were going to put everything and then in October, we moved in six weeks before our child was born. And that was so exciting. Um, the day we moved in, I just kind of remember it was an emotional day because we went from having plenty to pretty much losing everything to then having what we lost and more. I'm going to go in with my Ciate London bamboo bronzer. Uh, so that was an emotionally, emo it was stressful, it was emotional, and it was so, so great, because again, a year ago, we didn't think we'd have any of this, and now we have, we're farther than we were, we, you know, we, God blessed us, and he allowed us to walk this road quickly, at least, you know, it feels quick, I can't believe how far we've come in a year, so we bought the house, unpacked, made it home, and then six weeks later, our son was born. I'll have, I still have my birth story to film, but I'll go ahead and link my birth vlog down below if you're interested. Uh, but our son was born in November, and he's thriving, and he's doing good, and I had an easy birth. I had a great birth experience, and we're just excited. We're happy. We're, you know, it's... It's like the end of the year here. I'm going to go in with my Benefit Georgia Peach Blush. Or is it Benefit? Yep, this is Benefit. <laughs> but we're at the end of the year here, and we, you know, we, it feels like we kind of get to relax a little bit. Um, Christmas just happened. That was fun. That was exciting to be able to host Christmas in our house to enjoy our children. Uh, we, my husband and I did get a last little date night before baby was born, so that was good. And now, you know, I feel like okay, the last month or so, just adjusting to life with our little addition to our family. And I'm going to go in with my, with, um, my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in the shade Flute Punch. Again, part of that um, Champagne Pop collection. Uh, you know, we're just adjusting to life and we're just kind of enjoying it. You know, we decided at the end of the year here, we, it doesn't need to be stressful, it doesn't need to, you know, we've 
had a lot going on. It's been a big year, but let's just go ahead and relax and when you will let the adventures begin in 2022, which I guess we'll find out. You know, it's Again, 2021 has just, it's been about rebuilding our lives from the ground up. And it's been good. It's been hard. It's been a bunch of blessings. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with my Lux Gloss from ColourPop. I don't really like glosses, but uh, it's part of this collection that I just decided to pick up. And quite honestly, I don't mind the this formula. Uh, yeah, it's... It's been a year full of blessings, a year full of change, a year full, you know, I feel like the last few years have been a lot going on, both good and bad, and this year has really been just, again, just rebuilding our lives. Uh, I don't, yeah, December, Christmas, enjoying things, um, finally I'm going to go in with my next bear with me, um, this is the setting prime and set spray. And, yeah, well, there's, there's the look. The hair's not that great. I'll fix it up a little bit later. But there's the makeup look done. Um, I am so glad that you guys have been with me throughout this journey. I'm so glad that it's been a good year. It's been a big year. It's been a blessed year. And uh, I'm just, I, I'm curious to see what 2022 will bring, but Honestly, I'm not in a rush. I just kind of want to enjoy this last little peaceful period at the end of the year here. Um, so I definitely don't want to rush 2022. Just kind of want to enjoy the last little bit of 2021 um, before the chaos of the next year hits, which we'll see what God has in store for us. We'll see what happens. But with that, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. God bless, and bye, guys.